one resident of the Maracas St. Joseph community is tonight pleading for the relevant environmental bodies to step in and stop unlawful quarrying practices in the community. This, as Calvin Naked says, the practice is working to the detriment of all who depend on the valley's watershed for water supply. Mr. Naked spoke alongside the Movement for Social Justice leader David Abdullah, who alerted the media to the situation. Janine Brown has more. I actually see fish out of water, as the old people say. The silk was so thick that the fishes was jumping out of the river into the land. Improper quarrying practices are causing distress for residents in the Maracas St. Joseph community as it is affecting their water supply. Leader of the Movement for Social Justice, David Abdullah, says that these unregulated quarry practices in the area, which have been happening for some time now, have the potential to cause several other negative effects. And when we lose the valleys in our northern range, then we are going to get more flooding on the plains, we get more environmental disasters, we will get water shortages because we don't get the water in our reservoirs and so on and in the water tables um, that sustain water wells, etc. And a large community stands to be at a disadvantage. Yeah. Marcus people to La Saiva, to Val Sain, have to wake up because this is where the water coming from. This is the watershed we're talking about. The quarry is on top of the community. So everything happened in the quarry affecting the community. You know, Mr. Market says all he wants for the community is to see the proper quarry practices enforced. Mr. Abdullah is calling on the Environmental Management Authority to step in. Therefore, the EMA ought to be ensuring that there is no such um, discharge into the river at any time. Um, this was not just a minor overflow or something like this. This was a huge amount of, of mud entering the river. That should not happen at any time. Janine Brown is seen.